the kingdom of God. How many know that the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom? Somebody say it's a spiritual kingdom. It's the domain over which the spiritual sovereignty of God extends. It is the territorial dominion of God in heaven and in earth. Jesus says this. He says, except the man be born again. He cannot what? See, see what? See the spiritual kingdom of God. How many know we live in a dual dimension? We, we live in a dual dimension. What do you mean by dual dimension, Pastor? We live in the dimension of the natural as well as the dimension of the spiritual. Our physical bodies live in a physical realm. How many know that your physical body right now is in a physical realm? Come on now. All of our physical, uh, physical senses are able to make contact with physical things around us. Amen? Because why? We live in a physical realm. We are born into this realm as babies. The physical realm already existed before we were even born. How many know that's right? Well, the babies enter into the physical realm only one way. How do they enter into the physical realm? That's the way of physical birth. There's no other way for a physical baby to be born in a physical realm than by physical birth. Can I get a witness in here? After they are born in the physical world, you start to watch them. I watched my little babies. When they were babies, my children, I watched them. They begin to discover their new surroundings. They, they begin to discover a new physical reality with, with their senses. They, they begin to hear it. They begin to see it. They begin to touch it. They begin to smell it. They begin to taste the things in their new physical realm around them. This is how they begin to make contact with their new physical realm. This was the realm of reality that only Nicodemus was able to see. He was only able to see the physical realm of reality. But what he wasn't able to notice and see was another realm of reality, and that was the realm of the spiritual. And this is why Jesus told him, he said, let me deal with what you're seeing because you're not really seeing what you should be seeing. Hallelujah. So this is, how, this is how Jesus began to deal with him. All Nicodemus was able to see was the physical, the signs, the wonders, the, the miracles. But what he didn't realize was that everything that happens in the physical realm begins in the spiritual realm. This was the revelation that Jesus was trying to turn him on to. Jesus was telling Nicodemus that there was a spiritual reality he didn't see. He was explaining the fact that just like you have to be born in the physical to experience the physical, you have to be born in the spiritual to experience the spiritual touch somebody say it's a spiritual thing in order to see in the spiritual you would have to be born into into the spiritual it's a spiritual thing then following Jesus response look at verse 3 Nicodemus comes back with a dual question two questions in verse 4 mention the word enter somebody say enter the first question was how can someone be born when they are old and the second question is is it possible for someone to enter a second time in their mother's womb and be born again here once again Nicodemus is referring to the what the physical the natural so Jesus has to respond again look at verse 5 he says except a man be born of water which means word and of the spirit which means Holy Spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God notice Nicodemus asked Jesus a question using the word enter and Jesus respond to his question using the word enter the difference is Nicodemus used the word enter referring to the physical but Jesus used the word enter referring to the spiritual Enter means access. Somebody say access. Enter means to participate. It means to subscribe. It means to take a part in. What does birth mean? Birth means reproduction. It means a new experience or to see for the very first time. So what Jesus was saying that in order to enter, access, participate, subscribe, or take part in spiritual things, then you must be born into it. <laughs> you must be born into it when a person accepts Christ and becomes a believer their falling spirit their fallen spirit on the inside that exists in the spiritual realm enters into the kingdom of God like a baby enters the physical dimension in the natural realm 
They experience a second birth, but this time it's not the birth of a physical. It's the dimension of the spiritual. After they are born into the kingdom of God in the spirit realm, they begin to discover just like a baby, amen, the whole new realm of spiritual reality. Come on, somebody, with their spiritual senses. Just like that baby is looking around when you are born again into the kingdom of God, you discover a whole new spiritual realm and you start looking around in the spirit saying, oh my God, this is a whole new experience and this is what Jesus was saying to Nicodemus. You ain't seen nothing yet. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. After a person is born again, they are born into the spirit realm. And they begin to, they, they, they begin to have revelation. That's what, that's what happens in the spirit realm. That's what revelation, somebody say revelation. Hey, yeah, revelation. When the word comes, it brings what? Revelation. It's a spiritual thing. Amen. Just like you have revelation in the natural realm with your eyes. You, 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 things are revealed to you when you first, when you're a little baby, you see it for the first time. Wow. Babies are so mesmerized. They're, they're, they're looking at all the awesomeness of what they never saw when they was trapped up in the, in, in the sack. They couldn't see it when they were doing a backstroke. But when they came out... Oh, yes, they were able to see a whole new reality with their physical senses. And it's the same thing when you're born again. You begin to hear a word just like you're hearing right now. And your spirit man begins to say, wow, I never saw it like that before. What's happening? What's happening is your spiritual senses are tapping into the spirit realm. And you're able to identify with where you really live. Come on, somebody. It's a spiritual thing. We are born again. We're born into the kingdom of God in the spirit realm. We begin to discover and experience a whole new realm of spiritual reality. And this comes from the illumination of God by the Holy Spirit. This is how a person that is born again begins to make contact with the spiritual realm. This is why the apostle Paul and others begin to admonish to live in the spirit. That means stay connected in this life that we live in the physical realm. Stay connected to the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Walk in that spirit. Talk in that spirit. Listen in that spirit. We've got to stay in that spirit. This is why it's important to worship. What is, why, is worship is, why is worship so important? Why do you think we take time to worship when we come to church? Because we need to experience the spiritual realm. If we are spirit beings, I didn't come to church to see, amen, somebody that's all dressed up and looking pretty snazzy. I didn't come to, amen, win friends and influence people. I didn't come because it's Sunday. I came to experience the spiritual, the spiritual. I came to be, experience the supernatural. I, ha, I came to have a divine encounter with God. I didn't, I didn't come to look at you. I came for a spiritual experience because it is a spiritual thing. Spiritual. It's important to pray. Why do you think pastors encourage their members to pray? No, pastor, I'll wait till I get in trouble and have you pray for me. You're supposed to be a spiritual being. You're supposed to be already in contact. What you mean to tell me that you can't shout in your living room? You mean to tell me you can't dance at the bus stop? You mean to tell me you can't lift your hands at work? What's wrong with you? We should always be in contact with God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm a spiritual man and I deal with spiritual things. Woo. Tell somebody we gotta pray. We gotta worship. We no 24-7. We got to be in our bed just worshiping God. We gotta fall on our knees six o'clock in the morning. At 12, we could drive in our car. We gotta be worshiping God. Come on, somebody, eating at McDonald's, pulling up at the drive-thru. We should have our hands lifted, blessing the Lord. Come on, somebody. We should be praising God every chance we get because we need to tap into what is spiritual. If you want to grow, if you want to be strong, you have to stay in contact with the spiritual because it's a spiritual thing. Clap your hands, somebody. Give God a praise. Be seated. That's why I encourage people to come to church. I come, come to church so you can hear the word of God. Why? Because the word of God is what feeds your spirit. <laughs> 
Yep, yep, I guarantee you, after we dismiss from church, some of y'all heading to the restaurant. Some of y'all heading to Olive Garden. You're heading to, come on, somebody, Golden Corral, wherever you're going, you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere to eat. Why? Because your physical man is craving for the physical things. It needs substance in order to survive. And your spirit man is doing the same thing. He is craving for a word from God. Some of y'all didn't come here just to watch somebody shout. You didn't just come here to hear the musician and watch the choir sing. You came because you needed something spiritual. You needed a word from God because your spirit man is craving what is spiritual. I need something to eat. Give me a word, pastor, because it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> we have to be more aware of our spirit life than our natural life. That's what walking in the spirit means. Walking in the spirit doesn't mean you're always speaking in tongue, walking around. Da, 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 no, 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 no. Spirit means walking in the spirit means that I'm always aware of where I am spiritually. That's what keeps me from cussing somebody out. That's what keeps me from slapping somebody silly. That's what keeps me from doing something that I wanted to do but pulled me back because I'm aware that I'm a spirit man and I live in a spirit world and somebody needs to see in the physical realm who is Christ, who is Jesus. And I have to be an example because of where I live. Somebody say it's a spiritual thing. Please be seated. <laughs> 